four months of basic training and I can handle it. We talked to U.S. military veterans Robert Wojak and Damon Graham at Milwaukee's Vets Place Central about President Trump's actions with Iran. Do you approve of what happened over there? Uh, absolutely. 100 percent behind our commander in chief. If they raise the age limit to 60 or enough where I can um, 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 re-enlist again, I would do so in a heartbeat. Not for Donald Trump, but for the country. Graham served in Afghanistan, Wojak during the Vietnam era. I trust in our government uh, wholeheartedly and believe that, you know, if they can intervene on a threat before it happens, we don't have to relive uh, what happened in New York. As long as he responds in a way that puts the country first, if he does that, I will be behind him. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. The biggest concern at the Vets Place Central now is what could happen to men and women in the U.S. military in the Middle East if Iran attacks again. If they do something and they get um, service members killed, he will respond. And that's why I believe this will get worse than, um, than, um, than it already is. In Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. And some veterans we spoke with didn't want to talk on camera, but they did share their concerns, including fears that Iran will be patient when it comes to retaliating for the killing of their general.